Okay, here I am in Microsoft Teams, and I'm gonna navigate to one of my class teams here. Now, typically we create assignments that we can use for one-off student tasks within a lesson. Now, within an assignment, you can have multiple items or steps for your students to go through, but it's typically done within a day or two. So what if you have a longer project that the students will work on that can take multiple days or even multiple weeks, such as project-based learning? Well, classwork is ideal for that. So I'm gonna click on classwork over here, just above assignments. And you'll notice here that I can create a module from scratch, or I can use AI to help me brainstorm some module ideas. I'll show this in a little bit, but first I'm gonna go ahead and create my module from scratch because I've already written up my project-based learning plan. So I'm gonna create module, and notice here you can reuse from existing. So just like with assignments, if you wanna use a module from another class, you can pull that in. But I'm gonna go to new module, all right, I'll give it a title. Now I'm gonna show you here that I've already written up my project-based learning assignment. My students are gonna be working on a digital magazine on local issues. I have my standards, the project idea, the real world connection, and then I have all the stages of the process. So there are a total of five stages here in this project. All right, so our title is Digital Magazine on Local Issues. So I'll plug that in. And I have the module description that includes my standards. And I'll go ahead and save. All right, so now we have our title and description. The next step is to begin adding resources or files or activities. So you can either click the plus here or you can click the plus up here next to publish and you can begin adding the tasks. Notice here, I can add multiple resources and tasks. Maybe it's a file that I would like my students to access and read. Maybe it's a, an assignment, which can be uh, an assignment to create something. It can be a quiz if I need to assess them along the way. We have class notebooks. So if you have a page in your class notebook that you'd like to pull in and have them review, you can do that as well. You can add a hyperlink. So you can take your students to any website for them to go, for example, do research. And then here is Teams channel. And so the value of this is you can point students to a specific channel in your team where they can have conversations and share resources. All right, so in looking at my project outline. So stage one is to research local issues. Students will conduct research to gather information about local issues such as environmental concerns, social challenges, cultural events. They'll also learn how to analyze the impact of these issues on the community. So this stage is researching what those local issues are. So I'm going to start out by having them actually conduct research. So I'm going to start by having them actually go out and poll the students and adults on their campus. So I'm gonna add a file that explains this task. And this is a new file, I haven't created it yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and click New File, and I'll select a Word document. All right, the document's name is Local Issue Research, done. Okay, so here's the file queued up. And in the more menu here off to the right, I have some options and students will have these options as well. If they'd like to download the file, they can do that. And then I have the ability to edit the name or delete the resource. The other thing I can do is open this up and edit the file. All right, so here I'm gonna put in my instructions for this activity. Okay, so here are my instructions for the students on how they will conduct research on our campus. All right, so when I'm finished here, I can go ahead and close this. And now keep in mind, students will not be able to edit this file. It will just be a read only. All right, so my next task within the module here is for them to then analyze the results of their research and they'll be doing this within microsoft excel so i'm going to go back up to the plus to add another resource 
And in this case, it's going to be an assignment because I'm going to want them to upload their results to the Teams assignment tool. So I'll go to Assignment, New Assignment. All right, I'll put in the assignment title, analyze your research data. I'll put in the instructions. Okay, so they're going to be bringing in their results into the Excel spreadsheet. Forms already makes one, but if they did any face-to-face -face interviews, they'll need to type those into the spreadsheet as well. Then they'll conduct an analysis of the data, create some charts and graphs, write a brief summary of the results, and then they'll upload the Excel file below. So they'll be able to go down here to attach and they can upload their file either from their device or from their OneDrive. And of course, as usual, the assignment tool has our due date and time, who we're assigning it to. I can add a rubric. I can add tags and point values. And I can add a reflection to have them reflect on the activity at the end. And then I'll go ahead and assign this. All right. So now the other thing I'd like them to do is actually conduct research online. So I'm going to add another task up here, and this is also going to be an assignment, but I'm going to use the learning accelerator called Search Progress. This is perfect for when you want to have your students conduct research online. I'll enter the title, Local Issue Research Online. I'll enter the instructions. So they're going to be opening the link below to get started. They'll find at least five resource sites but they can find more as well. And then when they're finished, they're gonna share them with their team. All right, so down here, I'm gonna to go to Learning Accelerators and I'm gonna choose Search Progress. Here's a little introduction, some information on how to get started. All right, so what your students are gonna be doing is they're gonna be able to search the internet right in here. They're gonna be able to filter by domains. They're gonna be able to filter by file type, date range, and they can also use the Boolean operators to help them with their search. Then when they find a resource they like, they're going to explain why they chose it. And then at the end, they're going to reflect on which ones were most helpful. But I want to call out that I can actually change these prompts if I'd like to. Up here, we're going to see that it's set to five sources. They need to find at least five. This can also be adjusted. Here is citations. So if you want, you can require that students include full APA citations. If you don't use APA, you can go ahead and turn that off and not require it. And down here, we have customize search coach. So here we can change our theme. And then here with the filters that they can use, if you want to turn these off, you can selectively do that. All right. And just to show you the student view, what this will look like for them is they'll have the search box here and here they can browse through the results. They'll get support here with a NewsGuard rating, lets them know the exact domain that this is a .com and they can scroll through the results and click into a link this will open up in their browser and they can browse the article. And if they like this, they can go back and they can click on the plus icon to the right and they can save this resource. And then below that, they can describe why they saved the source. After they've chosen at least five sources, they can go to next. And here they can provide the reflection. They'll hit next again and then they will turn it in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and assign this one. All right, so now we have three tasks in our module. Let's look at the next step here in our plan. So after researching local issues, they're gonna go ahead and learn about interview techniques and ethics. The next step here is on interview techniques and ethics. The students will be interviewing local experts and other community members on specific issues. So they'll learn how to craft thoughtful and relevant questions, and will also learn ethical considerations when conducting interviews. All right, so the first thing I want them to do is actually have a discussion about how to conduct interviews and craft questions. So to do this, I'm going to start a conversation in a channel that I will direct them to to have an online conversation. And this will be available to everyone in the class, not just their group. So I'm going to come up to the plus icon and I'll go to Teams channel. 
So before I do that, I need to actually create the channel. So I'm gonna go up here to the three dots next to the class name, and I'm going to add channel. I'll name it class discussion on interview best practices. The channel type is going to be standard where everyone has access. And I'll create. All right, so now I have the new channel. The other thing I can do in here is create a post or an announcement that will provide a prompt for the students. All right, so first the students are gonna read the following article, they'll click here, and then they'll discuss the following questions as they respond within this discussion. I'll go ahead and click post to make it available. All right, so now when my students come into this channel, they will see the announcement here, the instructions, and they can click reply to get started. Now, one of the things that I like to do is I like to go into the channel permissions, manage channel. I like to set moderation here on, which means that only moderators can start a new post and moderators are basically team owners. What I like about this is they'll be able to reply to this conversation, but they won't be able to start a new one. So now let's go back to our classwork module. I'll go back into classwork. Here's my module, it's still in draft mode. I'll open it up and now I will add the Teams channel task. I'll go to plus and I'll go to Teams channel. Here, I'll select that channel I just created and attach. And so now they'll just click on this and it will take them over to that channel. All right, and I can continue building out my tasks for this project simply by adding them here under the plus icon. When I'm done, I'll go ahead and click on publish. I'll go ahead and click publish now so you can take a look. All right, so now when my students go into classwork, they're going to see this as a new module and they can begin stepping through all of the tasks. We can click on student view here to see what that looks like. And there you have it. All right, and that is how you use classwork. Okay, so I promised you that I would show you how to use a little bit of AI to help you brainstorm some of your module ideas. So I'm gonna go back down here to add module and we'll use the module ideas using AI. All right, here I provide my subject, my grade level and the language. Notice you can select different languages as shown here. I'll click next. All right, and here it's asking me, what do you want students to know or be able to do upon completing this class? Now, this is gonna brainstorm a variety of modules to put throughout your class throughout the year, but you can use it as well if you're just trying to plan one module. All right, so I'm gonna paste in the information and the standards, and this is the project that I had created earlier. And I went ahead and used the same prompt here to demo this. The project will be focused on producing an online magazine, focusing on local or regional issues. Articles include research-based opinion pieces, interviews, and creative content like photo essays or poetry. And then I'm gonna go ahead, here is a module count. So it's gonna create multiple modules. So if you want it all in one module, we can set this to one. And then I'm gonna click draft modules. All right, so here we have exploring local issues through writing, and they've given me a complete description. And here I could, if I like this description, I can keep it or I can regenerate, or if I wanna modify my prompt, I can go to modify modules. Over here, I can manually edit the text here within this module. And in the settings here, I can change the format or the length. All right, and then if I wanna use this, I can go ahead and click Add Draft Module. And now I have my new module idea here. And of course, I can begin adding my student tasks. 
All right, and that is how you use classwork in Microsoft Class Teams.